Your administration is continuing to pursue nuclear negotiations with Iran, but 42 Republican senators have called on the president to end the negotiations, make it clear that sanctions will remain in place because of Iranian funding of Hamas. Do you believe that Iran is funding Hamas? And if they are, should the sanctions stay in place? You know, George, Iran is engaged in uh, a number of activities, including funding extremist groups, uh, supporting terrorism more broadly, um, uh, supporting very dangerous proxies that are taking uh, destabilizing actions uh, throughout the Middle East, proliferating weapons. Uh, and two things on that. One, uh, an Iran with a nuclear weapon uh, or uh, with the capability to build one in very short order is going to act with even greater impunity uh, in those areas, which just adds to the urgency of trying to put the nuclear problem back in the box that the nuclear agreement put it in. Uh, and of course, many of these actions are going forward now uh, while the, uh, you know, and, and have gone forward over the last few years under the so-called maximum pressure uh, being exerted by the, uh, by the previous administration and clearly did not get the result that we all seek, which is to curb all of these activities. But the first thing that we need to do is put the nuclear problem back in the box. That's why we're committed to trying to see if Iran will come back into compliance with the nuclear agreement, the so-called JCPOA. That's what we're engaged in now. And then uh, use that uh, and as a platform to build on and to try to deal with uh, with these other issues. The Iranians say the decision to raise uh, to lift some of the sanctions has already been made. Is that true? We're we've been now uh, we're we're about to have our I think fifth round of uh, of discussions uh, in Vienna with the Iranians. And what these discussions uh, and, and talks indirect, as you know, have done is they've clarified what each side needs to do in order to come back into compliance. So uh, we know uh, what sanctions would need to be lifted if they're inconsistent with the nuclear agreement.